All right. I grew up in a small farming community in Idaho. I'm one of nine siblings. We grew up way below the poverty line. And in high school, when I got a job, I'd actually take my paycheck and I would give it to my mom to be able to help buy groceries for the family. I had parents that very much taught about the principles of freedom. That was something that was very important to them. I also went to a little private school that today's equivalent would essentially be like um, a larger homeschool co-op where um, my uncle taught and he taught about watching the patterns of human behavior and of civilizations over time of what brings peace and prosperity and what doesn't. And he was a tremendous example and did a really good job of teaching us about the principles that make for a free and prosperous nation. As kids at an early age, we learned that if we wanted things like toys and, and bikes and cool stuff like our friends had, we had to go out and earn that because that wasn't going to be provided for us. So we learned to work hard. We learned to start little businesses. And a lot of what I saw firsthand in the experiences of doing different little businesses and having different entrepreneurship ventures was that through the principles of the free market, you could rise above your situation. My brothers and I now have an ad agency with over 1.5 billion views across all our campaigns. And we've been able to help client after client grow their business by millions and tens of millions of dollars through the power of great storytelling. Years ago, I was introduced to Connor Boyack because we ran in like-minded circles. And so when I found out that he'd actually written a book that accomplished these goals of being able to teach kids some of these fundamental principles, I immediately bought the first copy, read it to my kids. They really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I was like, man, this was a huge thing that was missing. And I was delighted to see when he was making it into a series and writing book after book after book that taught about these things. And it was just meeting such a tremendous need in the market. So when Connor later announced that he was thinking of turning his book series into a TV series for kids, I was like, that's a brilliant idea. And eventually we approached him here and said, hey, we feel like we're the ones to do this. We've got storytelling chops with all these blockbuster ad campaigns we've done. In school, I actually studied animation for a time. And we felt like we had the passion for it and that we could pull, to, pull together a team and resources to be able to do justice by the principles that are taught in this series. If you had told me that my career was going to evolve into creating a TV show for kids, I would have probably thought you were crazy. But at the same time, I've always loved animation. So a lot of what I'm creating here is not just a show that I think my kids will love, but a show that I think I'll love myself. Even though I grew up very poor, looking back, I was very blessed in my childhood to have the kind of opportunities that I did and to have the education that I got and the foundation of these principles. Not everyone gets that kind of education. It's not being taught widely within schools. A lot of parents don't even know how to teach it. That's why this is needed so much out there. That's why, that's why I'm so passionate about being able to create these tools for other people to be able to share with their kids and really help the generations going forward. There are principles that you can come back to um, that you're, there are principles you can come back to, and there are, um, and that that's good. <laughs> 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 Sorry.